name is Zeus. And uh, can you catch Zeus a little bit? In the, he's uh, kind of off to the side of Kim Sloan, who's on the edge of the, your camera screen there. Zeus, there, co there, here comes Zeus. There you go. He's right by Matt Harvey's name label there. Yeah, Zeus. How old is Zeus, Kim? Four. Four years old? Yep. Okay, four years old. Uh, Don Brown from Rescue Me in the middle here. Don, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Great to have you here with us. Yes. Very Pleasure nice. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. And the, the young lady to your right is? This is Nora Piper. Nora She's Piper. She's one of my fosters with Wishbone. And Wishbone. Good to see you, Nora. Good morning. And, and Wishbone. I remember watching when my kids were little a show called Wishbone. Yeah. What's the story, yeah, Wishbone? What is Wishbone? What kind of dog? Wishbone is a Chihuahua. He's uh, estimated about 10 years old. Come a little closer to your microphone so we can hear. Sorry. Can't too far Wishbone away. is a Chihuahua, and he's about 10 years old. 10 years old. Yeah. He looks terrified. <laughs> well, he is pure love in a little package. He's a, <laughs> he's a sweet little dog, but... He's uh, turning his nose up at us like he's indignant that he has to be around us. <laughs> he's wearing a lot of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> got a sweater on. Well, that's, he's looking See, good. I'm not getting cold, right? He's like Harvey. Lots of layers there. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. He's, he's a good boy. <laughs> lots of layers. Tell us about Rescue Me. All Go right. Ahead. Rescue Me was formed and um, became a 501c3 in 2018. It was started by a couple ladies that just um, raised money to um, vet dogs in the local shelters. And then once they got them fully vetted, they would find a rescue for them to go to. Mm -hmm. um, since then, we've grown in huge numbers. Uh, we have our own building, which is at 59 East Road. We opened that in 2020. Uh, we now are, we have our own foster to adopt program. So we take the dogs in, we vet them ourselves, and we put them under us under fo in foster homes or foster to adopt homes. And how does your budget function? Um, solely off donations. And by doing it, we do a lot of events. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of uh, soul searching for people that would like to sponsor. Um, that's totally where all of our money comes. We're 100% 501c3. No mm -hmm. one in our organization gets paid. We have about 50 volunteers that volunteer for us for different aspects of things. But um, yeah, we're a foster to adopt program, and we save all of our most of our dogs from the local shelters in Berkeley, Morgan, and Jefferson County. Okay, so you kind of work in conjunction with them a little bit. Yes, absolutely, 100%. Actually, if they need us, they just call. Okay. And we are predominantly um, medical. We do a lot of medical cases and a lot of senior dogs. What do you have coming up in the near future? Oh wow. Okay, we have a couple events coming up. We have our uh, pictures with Santa on December 7th from 10 to 2. Um, anybody can bring their um, dogs in to get pictures. And where will the pictures be taken? They'll be taken at the building at 59 East Road by okay. um, Erica Dinell Photography. Mm -hmm. It's $15 donation to get your pictures done. Santa will be there, and maybe Miss Claus might even be stopping by. So do you we'll know, see. Do you know Mrs. Claus? <laughs> yeah, I've met her a couple yeah. Of times, yeah. She's a nice lady. she bring cookies? No, nope, she didn't bring cookies last year. Maybe she'll bring them this year. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe this year. <laughs> dog biscuits. Dog yeah. biscuits. Dog. We'll have we'll have dog biscuits. Milk bones, wish bones, whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. And then um, that bones. night we have our event that we've done. This will be our third, maybe fourth year caroling with Tito's Tito's vodka. They are a huge <laughs> dog lover. That will I help mean, you sing. <laughs> they are big time dogs, and we what we do we go around to a couple different um, locations, bars, and we sing. Well, we try to sing, I should say. <laughs> with enough Tito's, who yeah, cares? Yeah. Yeah. And we sell. T we do more of selling Tito's merchandise. And yeah. Tito's um, uh, gives us a donation of $2,500 just for doing it. And then... Um, Zeus is talking right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. He likes and Tito's. And then anything we raise, um, selling merchandise that night, is also donated back to the shelter. So we love Tito's. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice, and they love dogs, too. I have a bottle of Tito's at the house. Yeah. Everybody has a bottle of Tito's, I think. Yeah. And then the next day, we have a busy weekend that weekend. We have our quarter auction at the Martinsburg Moose, um, and we have some fabulous baskets that will be available for quarter for the auction that day. If you don't know what a quarter auction is, you can go to our event, which is on our Facebook page. Or our webpage, which is www.rescuemewv.org, mm -hmm. and it'll explain what a quarter auction is. But basically, you can win a very nice basket worth $50, dollars $150 for just bidding one quarter. Right. And how many so. years have you been with Animal, with uh, Rescue Me, Don? Uh, I started in 2018. Two th how about you, Nora? Oh, gosh, uh, about two years. Yep. Two years? Kim? Two years. About two years? Okay, very nice. Zeus wants to talk. What, is, what does Zeus want to say? 
Zeus, what do you want to say? You want to tell them you need a home? What's up, Zeus? You need you need to adopt it? Say, yeah, I'm four years old, and I came from a cruelty case in Jefferson County. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was not in good shape. We've since uh, we've since gotten his skin looking much better than it was. He's gaining weight. He weighs 115 at the moment. And his full still weight still underweight. Yep, his full weight will probably be 130, maybe or a little bit more. Mm-hmm. He's four years old. Um, he's totally vetted at this point. He, he does have to be in an only dog home. He's decided, although he was in a home with what 30 animals, cats, rabbits, dogs. He's decided he doesn't want to do that anymore. Okay. <laughs> so he needs to be in an only dog home. He's a great dog. He loves people. He loves kids. He thinks he's a lap dog. If you sit down <laughs> and he can get to your lap, he tries to climb up on your lap. Mm-hmm. But he's a great dog. He loves his toys. He loves to play. Does he have separation anxiety? Nope. 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 How do you adopt Zeus? What do you need to do? Um, just um, contact us on Facebook or our webpage. Get yourself a foster application, fill that out. We'll get you approved and um, go from there. All right. And how about Wishbone? Is Wishbone looking to be adopted? He is. He is uh, also looking for an only dog home. He uh, he was growling at Zeus earlier uh, because he has... <laughs> you don't want to pick that fight, Wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know that. He thinks he's at the top of the food chain. He, uh, yeah, he needs to rethink that. <laughs> <laughs> He firmly believes he's the number one dog. Yeah. But uh, people, uh, he's the best in the world with people. He's very sweet. He's very lovable. Uh, he will sleep in a kennel or in his own bed, but he thinks your bed's the most comfy place. So he he uh, wants someone that he can curl up with. He loves to cuddle. Uh, I haven't seen him do much play with toys. Uh, and that I, was Zeus's head. <laughs> wow. Didn't face <laughs> Zeus at all, but the table didn't have. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I haven't seen him turn down any kind of food. He thinks food is the best thing ever. Uh, he was also underweight when he came aboard, and he had a bunch of skin yeah, conditions and some problems with his teeth, so he's been fully vetted, and uh, he's had a bunch of teeth removed. Mm-hmm. So he's eating now a mixture of kibble and soft food, which gets the nutrition in him, and he's doing just fine. Very nice. So now all he needs is to find that special person who would love to have a little lap dog, and uh, he's a very sweet little boy. And, and how do you adopt Wishbone? Same way you adopt Zeus. You, <laughs> you contact Rescue Me WV mm-hmm. and fill out your application. And uh, what, what are you looking for in a potential owner? You fill out the application, and, and what would disqualify me from adopting a dog, for instance? Um, well, so we check references and we check vet records. We do require the basics um, with vet records. We require rabies, of course. Um, we'd like to see them vetted and checked up at least once a year. Um, once we finish all that stuff, we come and do a home visit to your home. We look for a lot of things. Um, the, we have several home checkers that do it. Um, they have a couple page document that they go through. They look for poisonous plants. Mm-hmm. If you have a fence, they will make sure there's not a place where the dog can escape, that kind of thing. I'm going to guess that for a dog like Zeus would do better with a bigger yard and outdoor access than, say, um, wishbone. wishbone would do better with an apartment or it could yeah. use small indoor yeah. space. That's not an indoor, that's not an outdoor dog. Well, he, you know, he's not a full time outdoor dog, but he does love to go outside. He's fascinated with the birds, but he okay. doesn't chase them. He just watches them closely. <laughs> um, he, uh, he is also mostly house trained. Uh, mm-hmm. He will use an indoor potty pad if that's his only option, but he prefers to go outside. Mm-hmm. And he's pretty good about letting you know when it's time to go out. So We got our dog. It was interesting. We, we were in a transition apartment. We were in the process of moving. And we got her. We got one of those pee pads for her. Mm-hmm. We just couldn't get her to figure out that the hind legs had to be on it, too. <laughs> <Right>. So... <laughs> <laughs> She'd go and put her, her front paws on the pee pad and then, and then go on the floor. So it was a <laughs> We had that issue as well, and we've <clears throat> solved it. Uh, there's a, a product available that's designed to go in the bottom of a rabbit cage or some kind of other animal cage, and it's basically just a big plastic tray. And we put the pad in the plastic tray, and the dogs immediately stepped all the way into <laughs> it. They just kind of uh-huh. figured it out. So, yeah. How many animals at any given time are you caring for at Rescue Me? 
it's been running around 30 yeah, right now. Right now we have 25. Yep. About 25. Kim takes care of all of our medical information and everything like that in the computer, so she's most familiar with, you know, what we have. Kim also does our meet and greets. Um, so, yes, about 25 now, but 25 to 30 on a and given day. How many might you adopt out uh, per month? Um, can be anywhere from one to last month was probably six or seven is that a good one when they're ready we wait i mean they have to be fully vetted 100 percent vetted and spayed and neutered no dogs are usually they go straight to the vet before they even go to a foster's home Mm -hmm. but if there's a reason why they can't be spayed or neutered that's done before they're allowed to adopt which are the easiest breeds to move is it big or little definitely small definitely small I mean, sometimes you'll find that perfect home, but like Zeus, we've been looking for a bit and haven't found the perfect home for him, but it's out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. You just have to keep, you know, getting him out there and, you know, getting the, like today, well, he's taking a nap. He doesn't care to talk to y'all anymore, but um, just a lot of exposure. So that's why I chose these two dogs because they're two of my biggest needs right now with exposure. And then we have one more that's a, a men pin. His name is Prince. We're also looking for a good home for him if, if there is no home found do they stay with rescue me forever is that how yeah, it works well, we've never had that happen <laughs> and we hope it doesn't because we don't keep them at our building we don't keep dogs we don't have kin- we have kennels at our building for emergency mm-hmm. um, but we are a foster to adopt program so usually when they come out of the vet they go right into a foster home okay and uh, how many Kim's, Kim's Zeus is foster right now <laughs> how many new dogs do you get a week or a month or however often the intake is it depends. Yeah, it, it always varies. I mean, some months, we like, one month we got 11 puppies, which is not something we usually... Um, it's a lot of puppies. We don't usually do puppies, but... All related, like one litter? Uh, seven in one litter and four in another. So, yeah, that was... Um, the, the four came from a cruelty situation um, so out of... Where Zeus came from. Yeah, where Zeus came from. And they were eight, eight days old when, when that seizure happened with Jefferson County Animal Control. We actually get to go on seizures with them, which is sometimes really sad. Sure. So in, in a case like that, eight days old, was it mostly neglect? Was it uh, violence? I mean, how, and, and how did it get reported that you found out about it? Um, well, it was reported to animal control. I'm not sure how that happened or who mm-hmm. reported them, but um, they get a, um, I guess, an injunction or whatever from the, from the sheriff's department to go in and do the seizure. Um, I believe they attempt to do a home check, you know, check on them first, and they did. Someone did that prior to, and um, then they know, and the the sheriff down there actually goes with us on those um, Mm -hmm. seizures, and we take them out one by one. They get a number, and we go from there, and then they go to animal control until the court case is finished, which is sometimes a while are, are most people good to their pets or are the idiots far and in, in, in few in between or is it more common than you think um i'd like to say most people are good with their pets um we you know we've encountered a lot who aren't i think uh, it's more common than you think yeah jefferson, a lot of it we probably don't know jefferson county animal control does a lot of seizures a lot of seizures a lot of seizures do you have any idea what the numbers are i don't but I know at one time they were probably doing like three a week. Well, one home we went in, 63 animals. Yep. Now they weren't all in dogs. In one home? In, in trailer. one trailer. Oh, my goodness. Including the raven. Yeah, there was a raven in a cage, an actual yeah. raven bird, which is um, illegal. Matt, are you familiar with many of these animal abuse cases? Is that across your desk at the Jefferson County Prosecuting Attorney's Office? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's the one who takes care of what happens to the people for, you know. Well, let they, me ask you. They on, help us a lot. They're on, great. On the opposite side of that, um, my dog is, is very pampered, um, and she has a chip. I, I do that finger quotes because I know we had that done. So mm-hmm. if, she, if she wanders <laughs> off and somebody finds her and turns her in, is, is looking for the chip something that is automatically done and by whom? Um, yes, so depending on if animal control is called, they should always go out and if someone has a stray dog, they should always go out and check for a chip. Or if it's a stray dog, they technically should be taking the and dog. How is in. that done? Uh, we have scanners. There's a scanner that you just scan the dog's body for the chip and it comes up with a number. So the information on the, the scanner comes up with a number 
Cool. Yeah, and then you have to find the number online and who the owner is. Okay. And we've had it. I mean, it's very effective. If you have a dog, I 100% recommend having them chipped. <laughs> because just recently, one of our dogs got out from a foster. And What's I was up, Zeus? called. Zeus, one, Zeus, <laughs> Zeus is, wants to talk. He, he's he's <laughs> a chip story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's chipped. So all of our dogs are chipped. We don't let a dog leave without being chipped. Very important. Very, very important. So what's what's the story with Zeus? Does Zeus need to go outside? Uh, he's yeah, just he's just a, looking for something to do. He's we, we, do we do not want a Zeus poo here. In well, the <laughs> yeah. No, don't. He's completely house trained. Okay. Don't let him he's run good. free during deer season. No, <laughs> he might catch he's a deer. Big as a deer. Zeus right. is four years old. Now he's getting out of the table. Yep, he's fully vetted, and he's um, he's like I said, he's a great love bug. He just does not. He's decided he doesn't like <laughs> other animals. Although he was in that house with. All the dachshunds. What else was in there? A dachshund, a shepherd, a bunch of rabbits, a cats, terrier. a terrier, and um, so he lived with many dogs before. He just has decided he chooses he'd like all the attention. Well, he's good enough, big enough to get it. That's, that's, that's <laughs> he's for fully sure. house trained, so right. he'll make a great pet for somebody. Both of them will. How much money do you need to operate each year, Don, to Ooh. stay to stay in business, uh, taking care of these? Well, our vet bills on the average run from ten to twenty thousand dollars a month. So you need a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are you, are you able to come up with that through different grants and donations and such? Yes. Kim also um, does grants for us, so she's really good at finding some grants. And there's a couple different places like uh, Leo's, Helping Paws, and stuff like that. When we have big cases that need leg removals mm -hmm. and something like that, they'll usually donate half towards um, something like that. And we do. Our vet is Blue Ridge in Percival, um, but we do also travel to some other vets that are low cost, like Anasira and stuff like that, that does low cost leg removals and stuff like that because they charge about a quarter of the price. Do you get United Way grants or anything like that? No, we have never gotten a United Way. Have you applied? No, I don't think that's one we've applied for. We've applied for the um, WISH grant at Shepherd. Mm -hmm. That's probably the one of the biggest grants we ever applied for. We are, we are looking for some very experienced grant writers. We have a new lady that just became a volunteer that has some experience with grant writing. Because um, we could have five people doing grants and, you know, probably still wouldn't be enough. You, you say none of the animals except in an emergency situation get kenneled at your building. So everybody takes the dogs. And, are there cats involved too or just, just dogs that you do? No, we're 100% dog rescue. Uh, we refer our cats to the other rescues, though. Mm -hmm. People call us all the time for cats. But, no, we do not house dogs at the rescue unless it's an emergency situation like him who was in a home and she had a rabbit and he wanted to eat the rabbit. <laughs> sure. It's food. <laughs> but, I mean, that's normal. Most dogs have a prey drive. So, um, and then Kim was kind enough to take him home with her. Mm -hmm. with, with my five other dogs. And she has dogs, so. So you then, out of your own money, you feed the dogs and, and, and whatever. Yes, correct? when someone's a foster, we supply everything they need, from food to collars, leashes, pee pads, a crate, um, sweaters. You know, we have fosters like Nora who hand makes sweaters for the dogs that they have in foster homes. Um, Everything they possibly need, we give to them. Vitamins if they need them, uh, everything. And the, the foster or foster to adopt, they keep all of those items. Everything is theirs to keep except the only thing we take back is the crate because they're kind of expensive. Zeus wants to eat his leash. Yeah. Are you, are you looking to. for more foster homes? Oh, my. Yes. We're always looking always. for more yes, fosters. Yes, always. It, and is there a website where so, someone could, if they were so inclined, Yes. Look at? Yep, www.rescuemewv.org, or you can find information on our Facebook page as well. So, Matt, do you come across many of these cases as a prosecuting attorney? Does your office get a lot of animal abuse cases? I don't know the numbers. I, they generally stay in magistrate court for mm -hmm. the most part. So unless there's one that's really egregious, my, my magistrate court staff handles it. So you don't specifically see it at your desk that often? Not it usually to, gets picked off at the lower levels. Right, right. I mean, I hear about them. I keep up with things on Facebook, and and then I, I do get calls. Th those are animal cruelty cases generate a lot of response from the community. Um, so you know, I'll get emails ab about specific cases a lot of times, and so you know that. And if 
a lot of times I won't have heard of it until then, so I'll I'll, mm-hmm. I'll take a look into it. Are most of the cases a, a situation that are settled by fines or seizure of the animal, or is there sometimes jail time that's associated with a, with cruelty to animal in West Virginia? Um, in West Virginia, um, I don't know. I don't know how they're resolved across the state. Mm-hmm. But it, you don't see a lot of. Jail yeah, time. it's in magistrate court. There's not a lot of jail time given out anyway. Right. Um, a, a lot of time, the best remedy is just to get the safety of the animals and to remove those from a from a situation. But if you know, if you're <laughs> if you're if you're charged with animal cruelty, uh, you have to you have to have a psychological evaluation completed before you're eligible for probation in West Virginia. So a sex offender and someone who's cruel to animals are the, are the two requirements for in West Virginia. So it's you know it's a, it's a serious crime and it's taken very serious by our legislature. That's good. Absolutely. Don, do you see repeat offenders, Don, when you're seizing uh, the, usually when the animals, animals get seized um, from the animal controls um, like Zeus's his uh, no. previous owners they're not allowed to have any other animals for the next 5 years. I see. That means any animal in their home, they can't live with someone who has animals, anything. And if they get caught, then you can't bring them over for a night or anything. So it's tracked so, pretty well, though. Well, look, you know that the cases where people have good intentions that get overwhelmed, Things that don't, happen. that don't understand that they have a problem, that they have too many animals, those are those are the majority of the cases versus someone just going out and you know doing doing mean things to animals on a, just to be cruel. Okay. That's basically what happened in Zeus. I think they just got overwhelmed. They well, don't, to, don't come closer to your microphone oh, there I'm a little sorry. bit. Because That's what happened in Zeus's case. It was mostly they were overwhelmed by um, just trying to help all the animals. That I have about a minute and a half left. Go ahead and okay. talk about the events you have coming up again, if you don't oh, mind. Okay. All right. So People we have our Pictures with Santa on December 7th from 10 to 2 at the building, 59 East Road, Martinsburg, right by Big Lots. Uh, that night we'll go caroling. That's just our volunteers. We go caroling with Tito's, but we'll be posting a flyer of where we'll be um, mm-hmm. going that night. On December the 8th is our quarter auction. That's going to be huge. We have some great, great baskets for that. And then um, the one thing I didn't say anything about, we stuff stockings for every dog in Berkeley, Morgan, and Jefferson County shelters. So we'll be doing that and delivering those on December the 17th this year. And do you need so, any volunteers to help with that? Um, yeah, we'll always take – a lot of people love going along with us to do that. It's a lot of fun. They get to meet all the dogs. We're taking the donations now for the stockings. The community's mm-hmm. very, very giving when it comes to animals, and we usually get enough to stuff all the stockings. And what's the address they bring the donations to? Uh, they can bring them to our building at 59 East Road in Martinsburg. Okay. And yeah. is there a phone number they can call or other point of contact? Yes, they can call uh, 681-260-6203 is the number at the building if they would need us to pick something up from them or to find our hours. Our hours vary at the – we do have our own little um, shop mm-hmm. there, and they vary a little bit um, because it's all volunteers. So. Well, thank you for coming in. Uh, Zeus, good to meet you, buddy. <laughs> hey, I'm playing by myself. <laughs> and, and, and Wishbone, you got your, your sweaters off now, Wishbone. Yeah. Yeah, all right. it, is, it is hot here. Yeah. Good job, Wishbone. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for, Thanks for having us. This segment brought to you by Hagerstown Ford, also brought to you in part by Farmers uh, and, uh, Mechanics Insurance Companies by L.A. Roberts Jewelers in downtown Martinsburg, and uh, also by uh, Parsons Ford. We became number one by making you number one first at Parsons. Mm-hmm.